Today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how I'm earning 65% per year on a Delta neutral liquidity position. Now, with that being said, this number that you see right here is the effective yield. That means I put some capital on the liquidity position, and then I also put some capital on the hedge. This is the yield after you factor in it the overall capital amount. So let's look at it. Right over here, I have a wrapped Bitcoin to USDC position. Now, bear in mind, I opened this yesterday, so we still need a couple more days of data to actually see how this is going to perform. But so far, things are looking positive, right? This is doing a 94% APR. So that's 94% off of about $10,000 that I'm going to generate per year. I've already generated about $17. And then, of course, I have some capital over on Lighter, which is a perpetual exchange that I am using to hedge. I have about $3,050 over here, in which I allocated a total of about $3,000 over here, basically. So with that being said, though, let's take a look at the actual profit loss. You can see this thing's up about $51 or so. It's fluctuating on literally every second basis, basically. Now it's up about 52. Whereas over here, I'm down about 52. So let's go ahead and dive into that because when we look specifically at this position, this position is down $70. It's down, or in this case, 60 now, because it's fluctuating. Uh, this position is down $60 uh, simply because the market has moved down. But I am only up $53 on my hedge. Why? Well, because I'm under hedging this position. You see, with where we're currently at in the market, it is better to under hedge as opposed to try to stay delta neutral because we're still in what I would like to call a bull market. And if the market goes on a rip, then ultimately I don't want to be stuck over shorted to the point where now I'm losing money on the way up. I'd rather potentially lose a couple bucks on the way down by under hedging and then ultimately at the same exact time make a couple bucks on the way up because I am under hedge if the market does go back up. Now I'm hosting a virtual workshop on Monday where I'm going to show you exactly how you can build a portfolio with these Delta hedge liquidity pools along with stable coins and stuff like that because a lot of people are worried about the market. That's completely fine. I'm a little worried about the market. So we're in the same boat and I want to show you how I do it. I want to show you how back in 2022 I worked with a hedge fund and we generated 25% per year using crypto stable coins and delta neutral strategies. That's exactly what got me into the deep end of DeFi, running these exact strategies. So I enjoy running these delta neutral strategies and everything like that, but I also love my market upside. Now, one of the cool little things that we've built into metrics finance a bit ago is the ability to add these exact hedges to the metrics dashboard. So you can see our long exposure is about 0 0.07126 wrapped Bitcoin. And our short exposure is only 0 0.057. Once again, that is because we are under hedging because we still have a bullish outlook on the market. We just want to mitigate risk during this time of chop and uncertainty. Because if we look at what's going on with the price of Bitcoin right now, it's slowly trending downwards, right? Are we expecting a jump? Yes. But do we know if we're going to get that jump? No. I mean, even over the past month, Bitcoin has been as high as basically over here at roughly $95,000, and it's been as low as $82,000. That's a big spread. And when we look at what institutions do during these times, they hedge out their risk. And the reason why is because they don't know what's going to happen in the market either. And yes, they have more information than we do at the end of the day, but they want to make sure that they are not exposed to these huge drawdowns in the overall market. And that's what we can do when we start to hedge our positions. And there's a couple different ways that you can do this. You can do this with something like wrap Bitcoin to USDC, which once again, if you are under hedging, I think it's completely fine. If you're trying to be delta neutral on something like wrap Bitcoin to USDC, I highly doubt you're going to be able to do it profitably over a long term horizon uh, with a decent yield to the point where it's you know, better to just get into stable coins at that point, probably doing 15% a year. And the reason why I say that is because you're going to have to balance between something that's moving with the market and something that's not moving with the market. For example, wrapped Bitcoin and USDC. Whereas if you dive into something like wrapped Bitcoin to Ethereum, let's just take a look at, for example, right? And you start to hedge your Ethereum, your wrapped Bitcoin, and you hedge 100% of the position value, delta neutral at the very open of this position. Well, ultimately, things are gonna bounce around. You're gonna have impermanent loss. You know, you're gonna end up with a little bit more Ethereum or a little bit more Bitcoin, right? Well, what's gonna happen with your hedge is you're still gonna be pretty much delta neutral. You're gonna be close to it at least. And the reason why is because maybe you have a little bit more on your Ethereum hedge now and a little bit less on your wrapped Bitcoin hedge now because the market moved. Well, guess what? These things move at very, very similar numbers. So you're over hedged on something that's going to move very, very similar compared to the thing that you are under hedged on. Whereas when you're looking at wrapped Bitcoin to USDC, all of a sudden you have to deal with something that's moving two, 3% in a day, maybe more, uh, compared to something that's moving 
nothing, right? And it doesn't move whatsoever. So again, a lot easier on stuff like wrap Bitcoin to Ethereum if you want to be delta neutral. And you can use Lighter to do this, or you can use any other perpetual exchange. One thing I would recommend is you actually take a look at the funding rates. So you can see I've earned 52 cents so far, which isn't a lot of money, first of all, but that's over the past about 12 hours or so. And ultimately, that funding rate is what I'm getting paid to be short on Bitcoin right now to balance out the market. I've seen a lot of people, they go into hedges, they just open up on Hyperliquid and they call it a day. But the reason why that doesn't work is because you really need to scrape pennies with this, right? And you need to make sure that your profit loss over here is as equal to the actual um, profit loss in the opposite direction uh, as shown on your actual position value. And I've seen some platforms that have a funding rate of 10% positive and others that have a funding rate of negative 10%. So again, make sure that you are in the right direction. Now, in addition to running this delta neutral strategy on a liquidity pool, once again, I am balancing out my portfolio. I have allocation in stable coins as well. Over here on Gains Network or G-Trade, I have the USDC counterparty vault. Again, this is counterparty, meaning you're still taking the other end of a trade here. Um, and I'm doing about 15, 14% on this. Over here on Dolomite, I'm doing intrinsically about 6%, but there's some uh, DOLO rewards that I'm getting an additional 10% or so on. I also have BP over here. This is doing about 8% per year. Um, and then you can see I have this vault over here on Bracket, which is doing about 18% or so. Uh, this does have counterparty exposure as well. And there's some KYC with this one too, I believe. And then over on Pendle, I have about $2,000 in USD AI, which has a fixed rate of about 14% until March of next year. So again, I'm back balancing out my overall portfolio. The majority of my allocation, this $37,000, is basically in stablecoin positions. And a lot of those stablecoin positions are low risk, lower return ones, even sub 10%. Whereas the remainder of it, which is the smaller portion, the latter, the minority, is in that Bitcoin to USDC liquidity pool that's generating 94% per year. And then with the hedge, you know, after we factor in overall capital deposits, is doing 65% per year, which ultimately puts my portfolio over 20%. I just wanna show you the actual plan that I had prior to deploying, you could see the stable coins would average out to about 13%. The delta neutral wrap Bitcoin USDC position would average out to about 38%. And then I have another position that I have yet to deploy, which is basically a 19% funding rate arbitrage position where I am going long and short on Bitcoin. Um, on one end, I'm getting paid 8%. On the other end, I'm getting paid 30%, right? Uh, so I'm balancing out those funding rates and taking advantage of an arbitrage opportunity. But even now, like at these current rates, 94%, my portfolio is doing about 34% per year, which is great. But if I want to look at something that's actually going to be realistic over the course of a year, it's going to be about 20% per year. And that's exactly what I'm going to be teaching you how to do in the asymmetric portfolio challenge. How can we grow our portfolio asymmetrically? So it only goes up and we don't have to ultimately take on crazy market exposure to these assets that we might not be comfortable with. How can we build a portfolio that survives crashes and earns 20% per year? So if you want to register, grab your free ticket. Again, completely free to show up. Uh, full transparency, there will be an opportunity to work with us. Uh, but worst case scenario, you walk home with a bunch of value. So um, the link's going to be at the top of the description. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, notifications turned on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.